Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and for this one we are getting it all in Selma and the Wisp. A game developed by Toucan Studio, published by Ultimate Games, and is available to you for just £8.39. Now, uh, one little thing before we start, it's definitely worth hitting that subscribe button and bell icon as I always upload 100% guides and loads more content with a lot of added fun commentary of course. Now what you'll see here is I actually completed the game and went back through it again. So you'll obviously have new game, etc, etc. Go to settings, put it on easy, and job done. Uh, but we always start off in the tutorial then, but uh, Silmar and the Wisp then. It kind of has a limbo slash inside feel to it. Our job is to get through 10 levels without dying. Obviously sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. You basically control this little orb of light, which... Well, well, the Wisp, I suppose we'll call it, because it is a Wisp. And it's our job to guide our little friend here through ten levels of hell-ish fun. But like I said, sometimes you'll die, sometimes you won't. It is one of those, but it is fun. It does have challenging bits, but it's not to the point of pure frustration and anger. Now then, this will take around less, uh, well, about an hour to complete, and all the achievements are just for completing every level. Lovely job. So then, let's get on with it then. So she can obviously walk, she can obviously run. She's following the uh, ball of light, the wisp, which is us. Obviously, there's going to be enemies and things th throughout the game as well. But it's mainly just a case of uh, timing your runs to sort of uh, get it to jump through. So if you put the ball of light, or if you put the wisp up a little bit, she'll obviously jump over things. Obviously, she can climb. It's all very straightforward, very easy, to be fair. Um... I don't know why she's got eyes like that, but hey, maybe she's on drugs. Maybe this is just one big drug-filled thing. I've never been on any drugs, to be honest. I'm a very responsible adult. But hey, for any of those who have <laughs> been on acid trips and um, LSD and stuff, is this a kind of trip you get? Anyway, anyway, let me know. I mean, <laughs> no, I don't care. So... One of the main uh, mechanics of the game, we can obviously explode things and explode items. It doesn't hurt Selma, our explosion, which is good. Yeah, she needs to just get through the chains here, which can be a pain in the ass. Literally don't know why she just can't crawl under them, but there we go. But yeah, we'll be doing a lot of... Uh, you, uh, you explode things by pressing the A button. Anytime you hit this sort of beam and particles of light this is basically a checkpoint for us so you can stay here um, because as you can see you've got two um, little health bars the one with the heart on the right is Selma basically that drains very quickly and ours the wisp is on the top there so the more you explode the more that our health our light bar goes down and of course we can stay in those particles of light and collect these little orbs if you will, to regain our health. Now, you press Y to have Selma stop. Sometimes you might not have to do that, but other times she might just follow you and jump off the end of a cliff. So it's always worth pressing the Y button. You see it because the wisp goes red, and that means Selma would have stopped. Again, this is something we'll be doing a lot through the game. Most of it's just time, so get over to the other side as soon as it goes down. Uh, jump over. You would have done this before in many other games. Same with this bit then. Obviously, it's always worth it's always worth just taking your time. There's no point rushing in this game. So as soon as something goes down and it starts going back up, then you can nip off. But basically, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope I didn't yammer on too much, which I did through that. Oh, so just collect this item, run to the end, and then this is where our first achievement unlocks. By the way, because I played through this game again, for some reason, the achievements will always unlock for you at the end of a level. But they didn't in this video, so uh, just just be a, a little aware of that. So here we go then, on to chapter one, on to the start of the game. And what we need to do then is just just follow along, explode this bit of rock here so it kills this uh, that, that worm coming out of the ground who wants to eat your soul. And that's all it is. Uh, a lot of it will be just sort of 
moving forward, exploding things, timing things, it's not too, it, it honestly is not too bad. There can be a few little frustrating parts and things like that, as it is in any uh, game like this, but it is very enjoyable. Now, um, one other thing you've just seen there was Selma was cowering. Basically, you can't get too far ahead. If you go too far ahead, Selma gets scared and starts losing her life, so you've always got to be with her. If she does lose a little bit of health, uh, just explode these spiders out of the way, by the way. Uh, if Selma does lose a little bit of health, you can just sort of hover over her, and that makes her uh, health come all the way back. So explode this stone. That'll get rid of this um, trap here. Put the carrot down, and then the uh, Mr. Beaver Man. Mr. Beaver Man, what the hell? But anyway, the beaver's going to help us out. Damn good trick, that. Uh, get it? Beaver? Damn good trick? Uh, anyway. Um, moving on, like I said, you know Selma will automatically jump and things like that, so uh, get this item. This is basically just a little bridge. Uh, put it down on the bridge. It automatically gets placed down so we can move on. Um, again, time it here. Have Selma stop. As soon as they come up, go. So it should be, you know, we've all done timing. Timing and things in games. You should know what we're on about. Unless this is your first time ever playing the game, then in that case, welcome. Uh, look at this little cutscene, and this is the end of chapter one. They are very, very short, these chapters, to be fair. Which is always the noise. Already on to chapter 2 then, and the first thing we'll be doing is be careful not to hit those rocks. We need to explode the sort of, um, I don't know, vagina looking things, whatever they are. But don't get hit by the rocks, they'll basically destroy your light and you'll die and have to restart. So be careful with that. But they don't hit Selma, which is, again, it's always pretty handy for us. Uh, grab the orbs of light. Again, there's no collectibles or anything, they are just to help us not die. Wait for this big big beetle I mean to be honest he's that big couldn't he just take us through the rest of the game you know kind of like the eagle on Lord of the Rings anyway moving on uh, she again she'll automatically jump on the bug and automatically jump off um, just explode this piece of wood we can get through so yeah it's it, we'll get sucked down here but we're just going through to the other side so it's not too bad obviously Selma's a bit scared she's on a massive drug trip man so this is, <laughs> we are her comfort. Uh, this bit's easy as well. You just, as soon as the axe goes to the right, she'll jump down, as you can see. Make her stop here, though, because if you smash the rock above, she'll get crushed by it and die. Now, in terms of dying, the checkpoints aren't actually too bad. So if you do die, you only restart from a little bit further, further away. So it's not too bad. Uh, there's an item there, but we're not needing the item, so that can go and fudge itself. That's not actually needed for anything, I don't think. Nothing that I could find anyway. So just keep on walking, keep on going. Uh, explode El Speedo. Spiderino. Uh, explode this bit of wood so it'll come down so we can move across. Now we're coming up to... We've got to get across to this point and there's basically like two spiky boys uh, that we need to get through. Um, it's, it, it's all about timing, so as soon as these spikes sort of hit down on the ground and you'll know when it happens, you'll see when it happens, just run straight on through. I think I get quite lucky here because I end up messing it up. So as soon as they do that and they're sort of I'm gonna go in here. You can move on, but for some reason I left her way far behind. Even though she can see me directly in front of me. But yeah, there we go then. So again you might I died a couple of times there, so you might die. Um, open up the wood, get rid of the weeds that are all over the place. There's an item there. And then just move this, uh, explode this thing three times. That'll make the boat go up. And this is the end of the chapter. Uh, but actually, when we do get into the boat, what we need to do is actually explode the boat and make it go itself. Now, it took me about two minutes to do this bloody part. So you'll actually see me speed it up a little bit now. So it might take you 30 seconds, it might take you two minutes, but just keep exploding.
Good God, yeah, finally we made it. So, yeah, I don't know why that took so long, but holy crap, that pissed me off. And it might do to you as well, so glad we're all in the same boat. Huh? That's another little crappy pun there for us. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Right, so we're still waiting for this boat to get to the end. I mean, I mean couldn't, couldn't it just be a sail or something? Anyway, luckily it's not as long as the last one. So we're going right, sadly though, we're going down this time. We, and we go heading straight into a minecart. So it should go off first. When it slows down, there will be a lever for us to hit right here. Make sure to explode that. She'll get past that. And then once it slows down a second time, we need to fix the track right here. Just explode on that and that is done. And the rest you can enjoy. Right, that hilarious bit of ride is over. Explode this fast gas bubble here. Get some light, stay in this if you need the health there. Pick up the item. And now we can just float on to the old top. Like a floater, if you get my drift. Wink. There's a whole bunch of gassy fats to get through here, but there is a wood, bit of wood we need to explode. That'll cave that in. Job done for us. Um, now we can just move on, and we are basically now coming up to the end of this chapter. So get her to stop. Very important to stop, because she'll jump over the edge. Go to the right side, get this wheel, have a look at this skeleton. Um, I don't know how he can just jump down, but, well, he's dead a long time ago. Guess I'm going to jump up on here, make sure she stops because she will fall off, hit the switch, and then move on through to the other side. Again, don't know why that skull, uh, skeleton, when he was alive anyway, as a human, couldn't just jump off. It's not that far, but hey, anyway, there we go. Maybe he's chained there or something. But as soon as we get to the other side, get Selma to jump off, and that is the end of Chapter 3 -0. So then, on to chapter 4. Now they start getting progressively, not as difficult, but they do get a little bit more challenging. So this is a, important here, just take your time with this bit, because she obviously doesn't have that much of a good jumping um, whatever. So obviously just wait until the other bit gets very close to you, and then jump over. There we go. Again, no point in rushing this bit. She hasn't got, she, you know, she's not brilliant at jumping. She's not brilliant at anything, to be honest. So, uh, explode that. Um, this is where we're going. We're going up, but you've got to explode this bit of blue liquid, which turns into a giant crystallized hand for some reason. Once we're up here, uh, grab, uh, explode the giant spider web, and explode this little bit of rockiness, mountainous. And then we're just heading down. Nothing to worry about here. There is a little red crystal item for us to pick up, though. And then we'll head back up where we came. But this time we'll be going to the old left. And once we're up, yep, yeah, go to the left, explode this. And then we, uh, well, pick up the item, because if you explode it, it'll always drop. Now, these lasers are automatic, so get Selma to stop and sort of go in the middle towards where the crystal is, and that will explode the crystal, getting us away through. Now, I'd say this level is probably the last one of sort of ultimate chillness. Um, whereas the next sort of five or six chapters do get a little bit. Uh, just explode the weed here, by the way. Just just so we, uh, just so we can get Selma across. But the next sort of six chapters do provide a little bit more of a challenge. Again, it's not too bad at all. But hey, look at the uh, twerky hamster here. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, just keep going to the left and eventually you'll find a little gap here. And then get Selma on there, stop, explode that. But yeah, there's a bit more of a challenge. Again, it's not too bad. They are still quite easy, but there's points you will die just a few more times. Um... 
But yeah, we'll cut, cross that bridge when we get to it. So now we are heading off to the right. Uh, have Selma jump up here, get her to stop up there, and then explode this bit of wood. Otherwise, she'll just crawl back down, and that's a pain in the ass. Explode this chain, get it to climb up. Now, with this bit, you need to sort of get the wisp quite high so she jumps over rather than just crawls onto it. As you see, I nearly mess it up here. So that's not what you want. So don't get it to crawl. So you've got to get the wisp quite high. I almost <laughs> mess up again. So again, take your time with it. But you need to get it quite high so that she just jumps off rather than crawl up and crawl down. That's a pain in the ass as well. Keep going to the left and we're all just continuously going to the left. If she doesn't come out, she's cowering in fear. As I suppose she's entered the, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. It's a weird, weird place we're in right now. Now, this is a tiny little puzzle. Get it to stop here on this light. Explode the first switch. Then press the other switch. Then the third button. Then click the switch. And then the second button. And then click the switch again. And that'll end the chapter for us. Yum. Yum? What am I on about? So then, already we are on to chapter 5. Now this is the first bit of cha real challenge in the game anyway. As you'll see coming up, um, there's three sort of wheels to get through. Uh, all electric and a bunch of knives at the end. So what you need to do is just start and stop, start and stop. So get your wisp as far over to the right as you can. Start, uh, start and stop, keep starting and stopping. This one's a little bit easier. And then the knives at the end, just wait. You've got time now, so you can just wait. Wait until they all sort of disappear, then go. But again, just in case they all start coming out, just start and stop in between. It can. That that took me about six or seven tries to do, so that might take you a few um, attempts to do. But it's not too bad when you sort of get the start-stop rhythm down. So you just see me grab the item from the right. Uh, that's the key which will open this door here. Press on this button. That will get rid of some rocks for us. And then just follow, uh, just go up the ladder and to the right. Alright, go ahead and explode whatever these are that's holding us back. That'll actually pull us underneath, so Selma's gonna stay there. We gotta go. Be careful of the rocks that'll drag us down into the lava there. And just go back up and follow Selmo Beanie. Selma Bouvier. Nah, that's just weird, that, isn't it? Right then, now, this bit, you see we've got three um, containers, two full of lava and one which is on the very right-hand side, which isn't full of lava. And the crane picking, well, it'll pick up something and put it in each individual one. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do first, then, we're obviously going to the right-hand side. So get Selma to stop there. We need to fix the right-hand side first. So get that, I think... I. I just left it there and hoped that it would work. Um, you can drop that, just explode it by dropping it, uh, drop it by exploding it even. Now go on, wait and see. He's obviously just done the third one, so we now got to wait. He'll do the first one, then the second one. As soon as he does the second one, get Selma to stop in that place. And that will be assorted. Just remember to explode this skull because, well, I mean, she is a child, I suppose, you know, skulls are bloody scary, especially when you're in, you don't know where you're in. Oh, this just requires a bit of time, and again, um, obviously when the presses go up, or whatever they are, obviously just nip on by, but of course the conveyor belts go in the other way, but again, that's not too difficult at all. Then we're just climbing some boxes. I feel like she probably should and could be doing this a bit quicker, but, hey, you know. Who am I to judge? I've never been in this situation. So this bit isn't as bad as it seems. The spotlight's here. So what they'll do is go fast to the right, then slow to the left, then slow to the right. 
As soon as it goes fast to the left, then we can go. So it's the one you're looking out for then. Oh, I almost get caught, mind. So the one you're looking out for then is when it now goes slow to the right. Be be ready, because it'll go fast to the left, and then it and then we can move on. And we've got one more spotlight to get through. Again, just wait. It'll go slow to the left, slow to the right. It's like a nice bit of dance in this, isn't it? Fast to the left, and then that'll nip off to the sky, and that is our Q2 X wit. Not Brexit. I ain't getting into that. <laughs> anyway, we are almost done. So we are done with the chapter. There is an item on the ground for us, uh, which is a key which will start the truck right there, and that will open the gates for us at the end. And job is am's a good one. Get Selma into the light so she's not a scared. And just watch the cutscene and enjoy. I mean, this... This goes very well for us, actually. Very um, coincidentally, goes really well for us. I'm not sure why I didn't really enjoy chapter 5 and chapter 6, but the ch from chapter 7 to 10 I did enjoy. I don't know why, you, you might be different. But anyway, we're, we're stuck on this bit of boat or whatever here. There should be a wheel uh, for us to collect, and now we can put that on. Now there's an order to do this in, you just blast the first wheel, and then go ahead and blast the third wheel, and that'll line up uh, the path for us. Lovely. Now for this bit, all we've got to do is run. There's birds after you, so all we've got to do is run. Now you don't have to do what I do here. I explode all the electric boxes. But in the, just a little while, there's going to be electric that runs on the floor. And the way to do it is to um, blast these electric boxes. So I just do it on every single one, just in case. But there is a big bit of light for us at the end. So of course, just keep, keep being careful. If you want to explode all the electric boxes, you're more than welcome to do it. You get enough light to do them all anyway, so... You go for it. You go for it, girl. Ah, lovely, we made it. And now we can get rid of these birds. We'll explode this bin, get some food, put it on the bird feeder, and then explode these bottles. Keep Selma away. Very important, mind. If you have Selma along there, she will die. You'll start from this bit anyway, but still, you'll die. Uh, so best to keep her away. Now then, this point, this took me about three or four tries to do as well. We need to get past these. <laughs> as you can see, I've done very stupid there. Obviously, don't get Selma too close. But we need to wait until this uh, the petrol hits the ground and moves up. Then we can blast on by again. I get quite lucky. But that's what you need to do. Wait until it scrapes across the ground, starts going up, and then you're good to go. So... Yeah, I mess it up big time. <laughs> but I do get lucky with it. So again, wait until it go. Don't. Yeah, wait until it scrapes across the ground and starts going up rather than when it's actually on the ground. But we are coming up to the end of the chapter again now. Um, so this bit, there's an item underneath. Get Selma to stop. Get the item. Blast open the sort of uh, locked box there. Pick up the item again. And put it in, job done. Now just time it over the fires, lovely. Wait until the fires go on, then jump over. Now with this next room, you see falling rocks. Now you can sort of blast your way through, no problem. But what I found easier, I kept dying very quickly, but what I found easier to do was get it to go on a little bit, stop. So as soon as the rocks fall, go ahead, as you'll see me doing now. Get it to stop on this bit, wait till another bunch of rocks fall, and then move ahead. Now, because what you're doing is hovering over her, so her health is constantly um, full. But, and again, because these rocks can kill you, as you can see, one or two hits, and you'll be dead. 
So just take your time. As soon as the rocks fall, move on, stop, heal her, and just keep going. Just keep doing what I'm doing. You might get a bit luckier and fly all the way through, but it wasn't working well for me. So this is the way I found which was better. Oh, and be careful here because you can get hit by flying <laughs> discs. <laughs> but this is the end of the chapter anyway. So then, 26 minutes down, we're already on to chapter 7 out of 10. Lovely job. Now, these chapters I am preferring, so what we're doing, we're blasting up the ladder first to let Selma get across, and we're just having a nice run across the rooftop in a lovely night sky. This is quite enjoyable, actually, this first part of the chapter, anyway. So when she jumps down, then collect the item there, which was on the left. Uh, that fan doesn't actually hurt you, so don't worry about that. We'll just um, be flying across now. The item went into the air vent. Explode this vent on the ground here, which will help us get down. Now on the right, you will we'll see girls. Ooh, girls. Wait until they start electrically exploding like so, and then just move on forward. They can kill you. I want to see where the girls are. Oh, but we've got no time. We're about to die. Anyway, this car is going to try and smash you, run you over. You just need to go underneath the grate, explode it, and she will fly under. Job done there for us. It's a shame. I want to see them girls, yo. Right. Now then, very important. There are drains underneath. So what you need to do is just keep exploding them as you move forward to not drown, which is always nice. So every little drainage, you can probably just about see them, it is quite dark, but you should be good to go. Three or four drain explodes under you, job done, we are good to go. Uh, explode this umbrella here before you go up, um, that will shower you from the spikes. And now we'll be going on to a train. Which again, not much to do here, you just enjoy the nightlife, you enjoy the sky, and you enjoy the ride on the train while keeping going forward. Actually, I forgot this first bit's brilliant. We've got a bit of Super Mario stuff to do. You can't explode them, you just time over them. Proper Mario style. And the music's banging as well, I love it. Good job on this game. For this chapter. If I was looking a bit lost, you were right. What you need to do is explode this gas bottle. Obviously, get Selma far away. Put her there. It is perfect. Now, get her to the left, and then she'll jump on this little box, and then she can move on. This bit can be a pain, make sure the wisp is high up, so as soon as that shark comes out, she can jump straight up rather than crawl up. She's not quick enough to crawl up because she is, well, slow. <laughs> Just great near. Anyway, we're at the end of the chapter, pick up the site and put them where the train driver normally would be. Jobs are good and chapter 8 coming up. Ah, here's a fun one, we're at the circus, the fun fair. Explode the ticket booth first, get the ticket that will um, get us through without dying. Again, this is a bit of a timing section here. I actually lucked into this one. Um, but as soon as the first water fountain stops squirting, then you're good to go. 
keep on moving on we can go through just jump up into the um, ferris wheel here and it's nice we've got a bit of fun we got a nice fun chapter to do which nothing can harm us or kill us at all apart from fire giant hands and everything else in this level so when we then jump down wait for the hand to go down there we go now we're on to a wiener pick up this item right here wait for the cotton candy to go down before you jump across and then use it on the uh, photo booth here that is scarily not that pretty get the corn which is by the cotton candy and use it on the popcorn machine that'll get rid of the clown for us because everything like i said can kill us which is just great balloons are gone now we're coming up to a bumper section bit now this can be quite tricky you've got to get the timing quite right on this one to jump over to the bumper cars again she hasn't got that good jumping range so be careful make a stop and then let her jump soon as the other bumper car is going to go go uh, going to hit you then it's your time to jump so we're gonna got lucky with that one again but wait for the other bumper car to bump into you now jump Again, that one again might take you a few tries as to get the timing right. Again, her jumping range isn't brilliant, so you know, again, be be a bit wary on that one. Again, this is just easily timed. Wait until it swings to the left, and then we can follow it. And you should have just enough time to get that. Now we're coming up to a gun section. If you don't react fast enough, uh, you will get killed. So stay sort of in the middle, and they'll sort of appear in the doors and the windows. Right, hopefully that wasn't too bad for you guys. Hopefully you knew exactly what to do anyway. Um, but now we move on. We are coming up to a locked gate into a graveyard, which is always nice. A zombie will appear behind you. All we've got to do is grab the key that's behind him and move on. Obviously make Selma stop first, for the love of God. Otherwise she'll just run straight into the zombie and you die. And that's what we're trying to avoid, death. Um, go ahead and just blast this bit of um, thing in the middle of the bridge there. Couldn't see what it is, too dark to be honest, but that gets rid of the electricity. Now we're coming up to a magical door section. So go into the right one first, keep going to the right and she'll start climbing this tree. We'll start climbing down. Oh man, I'm getting out of breath. I'm so unfit. Go to the left and climb up this rope first. Then we'll go to the left hand side here and that will help us with our magic escape. Now, we are done. We're done. I thought there was more to do, but we've only got two chapters left now. So on to chapter 9, this is probably the biggest pain in the ass bit throughout the entire game. So we have to wait for this duck here. And basically what we will have to do is sort of go back and forth on the duck. So go to the very front first. And when we enter this first room, we will... This zombie, if he's there, I don't know if exploding him helps, but make sure he's sort of halfway through and then we can get through. Cover this zombie's eyes because he will blast lasers at you and that will obviously kill you. This uh, third bit of Jason looking guy, when he swings up, it's fine. When he swings down, it hurts you. So if he swings down, you uh, move to the back, then move to the front. And when rocks start falling here, move to the back first. So then we can move to the front as soon as those uh, pile of rocks are done. And now we should be safe. So that might take a few times um, to get through. It took me about four or five times to get through, but... To me, that was the biggest pain in the ass of the game. So once you're out of here, we are good to go. Pick up this fish and enjoy the ride. Okay, free rides over, you cheapskate. Now we move on. Pick up the item, put the fuse in there. Uh, blast open this uh, lever and press the switch. And we are flying high flying hair through the scare 
Okay, this bit, you just take your time on this bit. There's n literally no need to rush. All we're doing is going down the clouds. So, soon as this first cloud goes down, always make sure to get it to stop, though, because she can actually uh, prematurely uh, jump, resulting in her death. Even if she just misses the first cloud, um, she will die pretty much straight away. So, just take your time on this bit. Be careful. No need to rush. There's only one one way to go down anyway, so keep on keeping on. <laughs> so when you get down to the clouds. Uh, far enough this beanstalk will help us get down to the ground now uh, This is easy enough again. Just keep jumping down. Don't go onto the right leaf Right there because you'll actually fall to your death. So just keep to the left and then from this point There's only one real way to go to the ground hooray <laughs> That big flying hying trip is done. Now there's going to be a gun that shoots ducks, so be careful where the gun aims. We're just going to keep on moving forward, though. You can obviously stop there if you want to. But you should be good to just sprint straight through. Now this bit, be careful of the timing of the fire right here. Soon as the fire drops... In fact, actually, no, I leave the death in, because watch... The That's a hell of a death. <laughs> that, you jump through a bit of fire and you get decapitated. That's a hell of a death. What are you supposed to do? Climb her up on the box. As soon as the fire <laughs> dies out, then we can go. This bit's easy enough to just fly through. And now climb into the cannon to get upward. But yeah, that's. I think there's only one more death that I actually show you because I think it's pretty cool. Well, actually, no, the next one is because I couldn't be asked editing a note. Sorry, I'm poor with that. Uh, but that one was a pretty cool death there, so wait until the trapeze gets to us, go to the right, go to the left now, and then go back to the right, and that is the trapeze section done. She's pretty fearless, mind. Get the hammer from the right-hand side, quickly smash her out, because her health goes down very quick, of course, and the saw with this bit, I don't know if it just takes ages and ages, but I actually wait for a while until it comes down, but it never does, so I think you can just blast straight on through to be honest obviously you know watch yourself take your time with this bit get it to stop before she goes into the saw here <laughs> um, because what we'll be doing is pulling the lever on the very right hand side and that will drop us down obviously don't get sawed to death that wouldn't be good either uh, this bit's nice you just sort of walking onto the right and moving up Obviously, what we're doing then is avoiding the tennis balls to the right there. And that's it. This is done. We are now onto the final chapter. So what you need to do is just keep... Uh, there's a hot air balloon. This will be the first bit in chapter 10. So just keep exploding it up. And then get it to jump in. Get it to stop. We are onto the final chapter. Lovely job. So welcome to chapter 10 then. So the first bit is um, getting through this rainy storm in the hot air balloon. You just press A to explode it up when it starts going down. Obviously we don't need it to go all the way down. Be careful with this first part though. Don't explode it up too much because you can hit the balloon with a rock as you see directly on top of us now. That can damage your balloon and you can still get through it but it makes it a hell of a lot harder. It's what I done first and I messed it up so... Obviously, just keep following the sort of ball of light where you can, just to keep your energy up. It's not too difficult, to be honest at all, this bit. There's a flying dog, dragon, lizard behind you. Now, I'm pretty sure this is epic acid trip, but could not be sure. Um, just keep going for now. Thank you. 
We are coming to the end now, but what you need to do is hit the little bit of deck. If you don't hit that, you will actually die. You see the deck right now, so be careful. Make sure to try and hit that. As soon as you do that, you can hit up. The storm will have us, and we are now into the final part of the final chapter. So try and hit that little bit of deck in there, and you should be good to go. If not, sadly, I think you die, and you'll have to go through that little bit again. So this is basically now we're just running all the way to the right until we get to a lighthouse. That is where the danger is, but for now it's a kind of nice, enjoyable sort of bit. Nothing that can really harm us. There's a little bit of time that we have to do, which isn't this bit, which I thought it was, to be honest. <laughs> but there's an obvious bridge directly in front of my eyes. Um, but it is this bit now that is coming up. For some reason, she's not moving. Come on, yes, have a beat. Yeah, so obviously just be careful with this bit. Uh, it's just all timing once again. Jobs are good, and now we are up to the lighthouse, which, like I said, is where the danger is now. So here we are then, the seemingly never-ending lighthouse, but it does end and it ends in just a couple of minutes, so it's not all bad. So obviously as we do in a lighthouse, we are going to be climbing. Obviously. Uh, explode this bit of wood first so we can just keep on moving up. And now we are starting to get to the nitty gritty of the section. Explode the chain here so the curtain disintegrates. You can actually walk into the fire, so, you know, her, hurting a little finger kills her, but walking through fire is apparently no problem. Wait until this, I think this socks or something, keeps turning around so you can get on the underneath. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're on fire anyway. Fire, bad. There's two bits of electricity here, which kills you. As you can see, so be careful. Sorry, this is the part I couldn't be asked to edit out. Sorry, my bad. So just wait until they both electrify. Go all the way to the right is what you need to do. Don't worry about the cameras flashing, you need to go all the way to the right, and then she'll start walking all the way up. Uh, they do hurt the cameras, but only just a little bit, so they're not too bad. <laughs> Don't keep walking into the cameras. Um, go to the... This bit pissed me off, only because you've just got to get her up, but for some reason, you've got to get your wisp really high, otherwise she'll just keep doing that. So, yeah. What a pain in my testicle nut bag that was. Oh, hey, we finally made it, this stupid sand of beach. Uh, just keep going up. I mean, I suppose she has got big lights for eyes, so... You'd either think that would be tricky for her, or it might help her, but hey, anyway, who knows. So come up to this point, there's going to be a knight that will start walking forward from the left right here. Blast the key that you're directly standing on, and that will crush this knight. Now, this bit, this first bit will happen extremely, very automatically. Um, you need to use your wisp to block the arrow, so just stop here. But what you need to do now, it's going to start exploding, so we need to go fast. So just get up to this bit, block that arrow for the first time, and then get straight up. If you dawdle around too much, you'll be exploded. Um, Im immediately go down, so these saws don't cut your throat out, etc. And then climb up, and we're done. That's it, we are literally now done with the game. So you can watch the um, ending here, it, it gets pretty dark actually, to be fair. So that is that then guys and gals, I hope you've enjoyed the game as much as I have, and the guide of course, and again, if it did help, remember to like this video, comment on it, and subscribe for way more guides and content to come. Check my descriptions and follow me on my socials with the links provided below. I am also now on Patreon, so if you either donate or you just have me on there, a massive, massive thank you. And again, thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. Always a pleasure, and I will see you on the next one. Big love.